Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials by Levolution Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can use image sequence as movie textures in Blender. Let's get started. This is Ebon, and she's uh, definitely watching something on our TV set. And I want the movie she's watching to be my image sequence. Um, to make this work for you, first you need to have an object where you want your image sequence to be uh, placed on as a texture. So in my case, I have this TV set. All right, and uh, there's a texture on this TV set. As you can see, I have an emission, right? And to work on this, I just want to go to my shading. Now under the shading, you have the emission, but I need to um, attach this to an image sequence. So to do this, I want to create a shift A and bring up a texture. So image sequence, so click on that. And uh, I need to define where my image sequence is. And I have that here, so import image sequence. I'm gonna drop, okay. So now that I have this, I still need to add a bit of um, uh, texture settings to this. And to do so quickly, I'm gonna use a Ctrl T to take advantage of my Node Wrangler. And if you don't have Node Wrangler activated on your Blender version, you can easily do so by coming to Edit, go to Preferences, and then just type in uh, Wrangler and it's gonna come up here. Check on the mark and you're done. So for the shortcut, you can see different hotkeys here, the hotkey list. I use the Ctrl T now. And um, that is to add the um, texture setup, which I just did, Ctrl T. Okay, so that's gonna add the setup for you without you um, thinking about what each of these nodes are. Okay, so that being said, I want to connect my color information to the emission color information, right? I can't say anything here because I'm currently on EV, but um, when I switch to cycles, I should be able to see something, okay? Right, so I'm going back to EV. I'm going back to EV. And here, I can also see the feedback. I can get the feedback of what my screen um, is projecting at every frame by looking at this. So now I can see that I have my image sequence playing and suddenly it stops at about 100 frames here. Okay, and this is a problem because uh, it's gonna affect what you're doing. But I need to see exactly what is going on all through my frame range. So to fix this, I just wanna come here, punch on N key and you want to change the frames to how many frames do I have? I think I have 240 frames. Yeah, so just change that to 240, okay? So as soon as I did that, I'm able to scrub beyond 100 frames and I still get my animation playing. Okay, so um, another important information I would like you to know here is the way you work with the offset. For example, if, if I want to start my animation, on frame 60, right? I can easily do that by using the offset value. And this is how the offset values work. I don't know why it's been done that way in Blender. It's kind of uh, funny, but I mean. Okay, so if I wanna push the image sequence to start from frame 60, I need to set up my offset to start on uh, minus 59. So, minus 59, it means on frame 60, my animation will start. So if I go to frame 59, you can see there's nothing there, but 60 gives me something, so it starts from there. So back to zero. Now let me explain what just happened now. In your mathematical graph, you have the negative x to be on the left-hand side and the positive x to be on the right-hand side, right? So see it this way. My left I have frame one, my right I have frame 240. So I wanna push this a bit towards the right. It means I'll be going from the negative into the positive, right? 
it's just a crazy way of thinking about it so you can easily uh, recall so you work with minus if you're pushing to the right and then you work with plus if you're pushing to the left it simply means if i want to push my my animation my animation is supposed to stop on frame 240 if i want to push my animation if i want to offset it 10 frames backwards right that is from right to left 10 frames backwards i'm going to use 10 instead of minus 10 okay so that's the meaning so um to prove that to you i'm just going to scrub this beyond 240 and see what happens you can see beyond 240 nothing is going on again so what if i want everything to stop on uh, maybe 230 okay this is 220 let's see 230 okay if i want everything to stop on 230 here so i'm just going to add 10 let's see offset of 10 the same thing happens okay so on on 230 i have my animation but then 231 it goes off so it means that i'm adding 10 frame offset pushing my entire um, image sequence to the left so that's why i'm having a positive sign so if you want to push from beginning inwards want to push from beginning towards the right hand side you use negative values and if you want to push from outside backwards you use the positive value it's crazy to understand but i mean i think that's the simplest explanation i can give you so i'm just going to go back to zero and make everything uh, look normal the way it should yeah and um, i'm going to render this out for you to see what it looks like so i already did my my render so this is what the render looks like okay so i hope you've learned one or two things from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and until next time keep your creativity blended